Hello everyone, I'm Mali. Welcome to MATLAB Apple. First of all, I want to thank you for being part of our webinar series. I hope you have enjoyed them and learned new things from them so far. Today, I'm hosting our new webinar which is based on image processing using fuzzy logic. In this webinar, we will explore fuzzy logic toolbox and see how to use it for different image processing techniques like image detection, image segmentation, noise reduction and image enhancement. So, let's start. In the first part, we will see fuzzy logic toolbox elements, how to design a fuzzy interface system, membership function, and how to add rules for the system. In the second part, we'll see different image processing techniques and how to design a fuzzy logic based system for them. Fuzzy logic has two different meanings. In a narrow sense, fuzzy logic is a logical system which is an extension of multi-valued logic. However, in a wider sense, fuzzy logic is almost synonymous with the theory of fuzzy sets. A theory that relates to classes of objects with unsharp boundaries in which membership is a matter of degree. Fuzzy Logic Toolbox provides MATLAB functions, apps, and a simulating block for analyzing, designing, and simulating systems based on fuzzy logic. The product guides you through the steps of designing fuzzy inference systems. Functions are provided for many common methods, including fuzzy clustering and adaptive neurofuzzy learning. The toolbox lets you model complex system behaviors using simple logic rules and then implement these rules in a fuzzy inference system. Why use fuzzy logic? Fuzzy logic is conceptually easy to understand. Fuzzy logic is flexible. Fuzzy logic is tolerant of imprecise data. Fuzzy logic can model nonlinear functions of arbitrary complexity. Fuzzy logic can be built on top of the experience of experts. Fuzzy logic can be blended with conventional control techniques. Fuzzy inference system modeling. Fuzzy logic toolbox software supports two types of fuzzy inference system. Mamdini systems, Sojourno systems. This is a fuzzy logic designer to handle the issue for the system. In this, you can define input and output variables, their names. Membership function editor. To define the shapes of all the membership functions associated with each variable. Rule editor. To edit the list of rules that defines the behavior of the system. Rule Viewer To view the fuzzy inference diagram, use this viewer as a diagnostic to see, for example, which rules are active or how individual membership functions, shapes influence the result. Surface Viewer To view the dependency of one of the outputs on any one or two of the inputs. That is, it generates and plots an output surface map for the system. So let's see the example of designing fuzzy logic system. We will develop a fuzzy inference system for the estimation of DC voltage required for regulating the speed of DC motor. We need to control the speed of a motor by changing the input voltage. When a set point is defined, if for some reason the motor runs fast, we need to slow it down by reducing the input voltage. If the motor slows below the set point, 
the input voltage must be increased so that the motor speed reaches the set point. Let the input status words be too slow, just right, too fast. Let the output action words be less voltage for slowdown, no change, more voltage for speed. The rule base will be first, if the motor is running too slow, then more voltage. Second, if motor speed is about right, then no change. If motor speed is too fast, then less voltage. Define the membership functions for inputs and output variable. Suppose the speed increases from the set point of 2420 to 2437.4 rpm, the new speed lies in the overlapping range of about right and too fast the voltage for which will change in estimated by the fuzzy inference system. Step 1. Type fuzzy in the MATLAB command prompt. Step 2. Define the appropriate input and output membership functions as defined earlier. Step 3. Now set the rules 1 to 3 as defined earlier. Yes. Now type the following to get the result for the same example. FIS is equal to read FIS speed underscore voltage. Out is equal to eval FIS 2437.4 comma FIS. This is used for the estimation of voltage for speed 2437.4 RPM. Out is equal to 2.376 is the estimated input voltage in volts. In today's world, communication and entertainment play a significant role. Do you ever wonder how signal processing happens or how it developed as the heart of the digital revolution? Whether you are a beginner or an expert in signal processing, our course on digital signal processing is a must if you wish to learn how to generate distinctive signals, sample, modulate, plot, and simulate signals using MATLAB. Join our premium course today. Study online at your own pace and get a MATLAB helper certification on its completion. Now, we move forward for the second part, which is fuzzy image processing. Fuzzy image processing is the collection of all approaches that understand, represent, and process the images, their segments and features as fuzzy sets. The representation and processing depends on the selected fuzzy technique and on the problem to be solved. Fuzzy image processing consists of image fuzzification, modification of membership values, and if necessary, image defuzzification. The main part of fuzzy image processing is in the modification of membership values. After the image data are transformed from gray level plane to the membership plane fuzzification, appropriate fuzzy techniques modify the membership values. This can be a fuzzy clustering, a fuzzy rule-based approach, a fuzzy integration approach, and so on. We'll see four techniques, different image processing, and how to design a fuzzy logic-based system for them. Image processing techniques include edge detection, noise reduction, image enhancement, image segmentation. We are using medical images like CT and MRI scan for all the techniques. What is edge detection? Edges are significant local changes in the image and are important features for analyzing images. Edge detection is frequently the first step 
in recovering Im information from images. An edge point is a point in an image which coordinates I, J at the location of a significant local intensity change in the image. Now, we move on to the code explanation. The fuzzy logic approach for image processing allows you to use membership functions to define the degree to which a pixel belongs to an edge or a uniform region. Import RGB image and convert to grayscale. Import the image. Use imread function for that. I is a 630 cross 630 cross 3 unit 8 array. The three channels of I, third array dimension, represents the red, green, and blue intensities of the image. Convert I to grayscale so that you can work with a 2D array instead of a 3D array. To do so, use the RGB to gray function. Convert image to double precision data. The EVA ALFIS function for evaluating fuzzy inference systems supports only single precision and double precision data. Therefore, convert I gray to a double array using the IM2 double function. Edge detection algorithm relies on the image gradient to locate breaks in uniform regions. Calculate the image gradient along the x-axis and y-axis. GIMGX and GIMGY are simple gradient filters to obtain a matrix containing the x gradients of I. You convolve I with GIMGX using the CONV2 function. The gradient values are in the minus 1 from a minus 1 range. Similarly, to obtain the y-axis gradients of i, convolve i with g img y. Plot the image grade. Next, define fuzzy inference system FIS for edge detection, edge FIS. We choose the Mamdini FIS for this. Specify the image gradients IMGX and IMGY as the inputs of HFIS. Specify a zero mean Gaussian membership function for each input. If the gradient value for a pixel is zero, then it belongs to the zero membership function with a degree of 1. SX and SY specify the standard deviation for the zero membership function for the IX and IY inputs. To adjust the edge detector performance, you can change the values of SX and SY. Increasing the values makes the algorithm less sensitive to the edges in the image and decreases the intensity of the detected edges. Specify the intensity of the edge detected images as the output of edge FIS. Specify the triangular membership functions white and black for I out. As you can see with SX and SY, you can change the values of D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, and D6 to adjust the edge detector performance. The triplets specify the start, peak, and the end of the triangles of the membership functions. These parameters influence the intensity 
of the detected edges. Plot the membership functions of the inputs and outputs of edge FIS. Specify FIS rules. Add rules to make a pixel white if it belongs to a uniform region and black otherwise. A pixel is in a uniform region when the image gradient is zero in both directions. If either direction has a non-zero gradient, then the pixel is on an edge. Now, evaluate FIS. Evaluate the output of the edge detector for each row of pixel in IMG using corresponding rows of IMGX and IMGY as inputs. Plot the detected edges. Here we can see the clear edges of the image which help to represent high frequency components of an image. You can see the results for both the images of CT and MRI scan. Now, we have seen that we can design fuzzy inference system in MATLAB script. But we can write these scripts in .fis file as well using function writefis. Now we'll see fuzzy inference systems which we designed in fuzzy logic toolbox. This is fuzzy logic based edge detection for smooth and noisy CT and MRI scan. The edge detection is used to intensify the smoothness of the images. We have chosen IMGX and IMGY as the inputs and then the conversion takes place in the fuzzy plane as defined by the fuzzy rules. This then leads to the defuzzification using the Mamdani inference. Membership function is used for measuring the fuzziness. Our inputs are trapezoidal membership functions and outputs were the Gaussian membership functions. Our FIS variables include IMGX, IMGY, and IOUT. The rule editor helps us to define the rules. Like here, we have defined as if IMGX is 0 and IMGY is 0, then I out is white. Similarly, if IMG X is 0 or IMG Y is 0, then I out is black. The rule viewer has given us a roadmap of exactly what the inference process is happening. So here, we can see 7 plots in one window. Here, the rows having the plots are the set of rules whereas the columns can be defined as variables. The rules which we defined earlier are present in the status line and can be viewed by clicking on the rule number. Here we see a three-dimensional surface that represents the IMGX, IMGY and IOUT. The surface viewer automatically gets updated on changing upon the input or output variable. We have achieved the plot by specifying the rules for the fuzzy inference system, the membership functions, which correspond to it, and the input and output as IMGX, IMGY, and IOUT respectively. We assist from fundamentals to advanced MATLAB and simulating projects including IoT, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, Image Processing and many more. Our speciality lies in how we have assisted and provided guidance in academic projects and research work as well as specialized training and workshop for MATLAB and simulating. Our training programs are designed with the focus towards skill building 
and logic development, which involve a practical learning approach. Join our program virtually or in office and improve your MATLAB skills. Noise reduction technique. What is noise reduction? Noise removal algorithm is removing or reducing the noise from the image. The noise removal algorithm reduces or removes the visibility of noise by smoothening the entire image, leaving areas near contrast boundaries. But these methods can obscure fine low contrast details. Now we move on to the code explanation. Import RGB image and convert to grayscale. Use IMD function for that. I is a 630 cross 630 cross 3 unit 8 array. The three channels of I third array dimension represents the red, green and blue intensities of the image. Convert I to grayscale so that you can form with a 2D array instead of a 3D array. To do so, use the RGB to gray function. Find the size of the image by using y1, x1 is equal to img 2d. Now add noise to the image using function im noise. We are adding Gaussian noise. Set value for it as 0.02. After adding the noise, we will use two filters to smoothen that image. It is effective to reduce Gaussian noise from image. We are using mean and median filters. The results from them will be used to make fuzzy rules. Use IMN LM FILT function for mean filter. Use MED FILT2 function for median filter. Display all the images. Original, noisy, mean filter, median filter in one figure. Now we will convert image to double precision data. The eval FIS function for evaluating fuzzy inference systems supports only single precision and double precision data. Therefore, convert noisy, mean and median filtered images to a double array using the im to double function. Next, define fuzzy inference system FIS for noise reduction. Noise FIS we choose the Mamdani FIS for this. Specify the image gradients, mean and median as the inputs of noise FIS. Specify a zero mean Gaussian membership function for each input. If the gradient value for a pixel is zero, then it belongs to the zero membership function with a degree of one. Specify 0 0.0314, 0 0.0748, 0 0.1686, and then 0 0.1314, 0 0.1549, and 0 0.2078 as Gaussian membership functions for each output and to adjust the noise reduction performance in the two classes of homogeneous and details. Plot the membership functions of the inputs and outputs of noise FIS. Add the rules for the noise FIS as follows. R1 
is equal to if mean is zero and median is zero, then I out is homogeneous. R2, if mean is not zero or median is not zero, then I out is T tails. Now evaluate FIS. Evaluate the output of the noise reducer for each row of pixel in IMG using corresponding rows of M and K as inputs. Plot the noise reduced image. Here we can see the quality of the medical image is obtained by the noise free images to get the better results and increase in accuracy of the result. You can see the result for both images, CT and MRI scan. Now we'll see fuzzy inference systems which we designed in Fuzzy Logic Toolbox. Through the fuzzy enhancement techniques, we can obtain high quality grayscale images which are generally degraded by impulsive noise during image acquisition or transmission. We have chosen IMG as the input and then its conversion takes place in the fuzzy plane as defined by the fuzzy rules. This then leads to the defuzzification using the Mamdini inference. Membership function is used for measuring the fuzziness. Our inputs are trapezoidal membership function and output were the Gaussian membership function. Our FIS variables include IMG and IOUT. The rule editor helps us to define the rules. Like here, we have defined as if IMG is dark, then IOUT is dark. Similarly, if IMG is gray, then IOUT is gray. And if IMG is bright, then I out is brighter. The rule viewer has given us a roadmap of exactly what the inference processes happen. So here we can see seven plots in one window. Here the rows having the plots are the set of rules, whereas the columns can be referred to as variables. The rules which we defined earlier are present in the status line and can be viewed by clicking on the rule number. We have achieved the output surface in a two-dimensional way by specifying the rules for the fuzzy inference system, the membership functions which correspond to it and the input and output as IMG and IOUT respectively. Are you looking for the implementation of a paper in MATLAB or Simulink? Have you tried different ways but still not able to proceed in your work? Are you looking for help in a long-term project or thesis? You have reached to the perfect place. At MATLAB Helper, we provide expert guidance with research assistance from one-to-one -one learning to full implementation of the work. Check all our amazing features and book your monthly plan now. We'll see image enhancement techniques. What is image enhancement? Image enhancement is the process of adjusting digital images so that the results are more suitable for display or further image analysis. For example, you can remove noise, sharpen, or brighten an image, making it easier to identify key features. Now, we move on to the code explanation. For the image enhancement, the first few steps are similar to the noise reduction. Import RGB image and convert to grayscale. Import the image. Use IMGrade function for that. 
I is of 630 cross 630 cross 3 unit array. The three channels of I, third array dimension, represent the red, green, and blue intensities of the image. Convert I to grayscale so that you can work with a 2D array instead of a 3D array. To do so, use the RGB to gray function. Find the size of the image by using y1, x1 is equal to size ing 2D. Now add noise to the image using function I am noise. We are adding Gaussian noise. Set value for it as 0 0.02. Next step is to find pixel information of the image using function I am pixel info to find minimum maximum gray level of image by using this function. Min gray level is equal to min and max gray level is equal to max. Now we convert image to double precision data. The eval FIS function for evaluating fuzzy inference systems supports only single precision and double precision data. Therefore, convert noisy image J to a double array using the im to double function. Next, define fuzzy inference system FIS for image enhancement e enhance FIS. We choose the Mamdini FIS for this. Specify the IMG as the input of enhanced FIS. Specify a triangular membership function for input with the values minus 0 0.4, 0 and 0 0.4 for dark, 0 0.1, 0 0.5 and 0 0.9 for gray and 0 0.6, 1 and 1.4 for bright. Specify the I out as the output of enhanced FIS. Specify the triangular membership function for output with the values minus 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.5 for darker, 0 0.2, 0 0.7 and 1.2 for gray, 0 0.8, 1.3 and 1.8 for brighter. Plot the membership functions of the inputs and outputs of enhanced FIS. R1 is equal to if IMG is dark, then I out is darker. R2 is equal to if IMG is gray, then I out is gray. R3 is equal to if IMG is bright, then I out is brighter. Now evaluate FIS. Evaluate the output of the image enhancer for each row of pixels in IMG using as input. Plot the enhanced image. Here we can see the result is more visible and suitable than the original image for specific information. You can see the results for both CT and MRI scan. Now we'll see fuzzy inference systems which we designed in Fuzzy Logic Toolbox. True. The noise reduction techniques, we can obtain high quality images after removal of noise. Noise basically means that the pixels of the image show different intensity values instead of the actual ones, which happens generally during image acquisition or transmission. We have chosen the mean and median as an input, 
and then its conversion takes place in the plane as defined by the fuzzy rules. This then leads to the defuzzification using the Mamdani inference. Membership function is used for measuring the fuzziness. Our inputs are trapezoidal membership function and outputs were the Gaussian membership function. Our FIS variables include mean, median and I out. The rule editor helps us to define the rules. Like here we have defined as if mean is 0 and median is 0, then I out is homogeneous. Similarly, if mean is not 0 and median is not 0, then I out is details. The rule viewer has given us a roadmap of exactly what the inference process is happening. So here we can see seven plots in one window. Here the rows having the plots are the set of rules, whereas the columns can be referred to as variables. The rules which we defined earlier are present in the status line and can be viewed by clicking on the rule number. Here we can see a three dimensional surface that represents the mean, median, and I out. The surface viewer automatically gets updated on changing upon input or output variable. We have achieved the plot by specifying the rules for the fuzzy inference system, the membership functions which correspond to it and the input and output as mean, median, and I out, respectively. MATLAB Helper is organizing monthly contest for over an year now. Our quiz of September 2020 is on control system. The first five winners between 11 to 20th September will get an e-certificate and feature in a winner showcase section. Participate in our free MCQ quiz, score 60% plus, and follow the quiz guidelines to be winners of this contest. Visit our website to explore all quiz contests. Now, we'll forward with last technique, which is image segmentation using fuzzy C means clustering. FCM algorithm sensitive to additive noise, degrading the image pixels features. FCM is a method of clustering which allows one piece of data to belong to two or more clusters. Fuzzy logic is a multi-valued logic derived from fuzzy set theory. FCM is popularly used for soft segmentation like the brain tissue model. Now we move on to the code explanation. Import RGB image, use IM read function for that. I is a 630 cross 630 cross 3 unit 8 array. Reshape the image in single dimensional array because image is a 3D array of intensity value. Convert from unit 8 to double precision array. Now, FCM is built in function. MATLAB for fuzzy clustering. Fuzzy clustering takes more time than K means, but the results of fuzzy is better than K means. You don't have to segment an image again and again, as it takes much time. You can save the segmentation results and load it whenever you need it. The result of clustering is saved. Reshape the clustered one dimensional array to four to the array. Now display the result of clustering. Here 
we can see the segmented image of brain. Medical imaging mainly processes uncertain, lost, vague, complementary, conflicting, redundant, contradictory, distorted information and data has a powerful structural character. The fuzzy sex theory is an intriguing and valuable tool as it gives a good hypothetical basis to represent imprecision of the information. As a general approach, fuzzy logic has been used for medical image processing and analysis. Experiments give satisfactory results. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any query, post it in the comments or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our future. Hope you all would have enjoyed a trip across the globe using the mapping toolbox and also plotted the 2D environment using Arduino and ThinkSpeak. Exploring the world of design and control, why not to design our own system using the Simbring Design Optimization and giving it some powerful features using the Control System Designer Toolbox. What? You missed it? Worry not. You can go through our YouTube channel and find the playlist. Participate in our live interactive sessions and quizzes. Enjoy your learning. Keep my loving.